Welcome to the Three Minute Theologian, a theology podcast about what we believe, written by the pastors of Waukee Community Church. I'm your host, Mike Wagner, and today we're reflecting on the nature of God, namely what makes him transcendent. Have you ever wondered what God is like? Everything in the observable universe is made up of matter. You, me, your car, your food, this microphone, even the air we breathe. But recent discoveries are showing that there is more to the universe than what we can see. Physicists are beginning to study the empty space around us. And what they have found is dark matter, invisible stuff that seems to glue everything together. Is this what God is like? The Bible says that God transcends us. He is not made up of visible matter or invisible dark matter. In fact, he exists outside of his creation, and he is beyond our capacity to understand. However, we do know some things about God, not because we are smart or have figured God out, but because he has graciously revealed himself to us. In John 4, Jesus is talking with a woman from Samaria. And he says to her, God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The Bible gives us at least four descriptions about what God is like. First, God is spirit. God has no body, and thus he is not limited or contained by space, time, or reality like us. He is immaterial, invisible, infinite, and unending, which leads to the second description of God. God is simple. He has no parts. While you and I, as created beings, are the amalgamation of trillions of atoms and particles, God is not like that. His spiritual nature is indivisible and not a mixture of any parts. He is purely and simply divine. Third, God is impassable. Unlike the parents of toddlers, God is not affected by his creation. While sticks, stones, and unkind words can hurt us, God is unaffected by our actions. Impassibility means it is impossible for us to push God's buttons. He is unbiased and always sees things with perfect moral clarity. And fourth, the Bible says that God is immutable. Immutability means that God does not change. He is never confused, inconsistent, or random. God always will be right, always will be perfect, always will be the same, and always will be true. God is these four things. He is simple, spirit, impassable, and immutable. But what do they mean for you and me? Why is God's nature important? These things are important because they impact how we think about God and about how we are to relate to him. The gospel gives us a personal, intimate, and friendly relationship with God. But often, when we assume this, we neglect to think about why God is worthy of worship. God deserves our reverence. Does your relationship with God ever fill you with awe that sends you to your knees? The Bible says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. If the majesty of God does not move you, Could your relationship with God be too familiar? Our relationship with him ought to be both personal and reverent because of who God is. Next time you draw near to God, contemplate his awesomeness, his transcendence and marvel, for he has revealed himself to you. 